guys so out welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial is how to make your video look like your cyberpunk game with vegas post suite software so for those who don't know vegas post suite is a new sort of a package from vegas software which contain three main editing program uh, which is vegas pro vegas effects and vegas image so you will require all of those three programs to make this kind of edits so before we start with the actual tutorials or edits, you want to make sure that you analyze your clip first. So for this particular edit, I have a fairly simple footage here. It's a simple tracking forward. And I got some building with a lot of lights up in front. So it does emulate or look kind of similar to the actual cyberpunk games. So what I'm going to do on this video clip is that I just going to add some simple line animation onto the um, signboard here. And this street signboard here all of on this tree signboards and then i'm gonna add uh, animated posters on this uh two uh, pillars here this train pillars another one on this building and finally i'm gonna add a giant um signboard a neon signboard on this building up in front and then I, I, i'm gonna enhance this clip uh more with color grid so that's what i'm gonna do for this particular uh footage Alright, so here I have the video clip pretty much loaded up in Vegas Pro and the first step that I'm going to do is to right click and send it off to Vegas Effects. So once I'm in Vegas Effects, I'm going to quickly rename my video so I won't get confused which layer I'm currently working on. And then I'm going to start motion track the video and for this part, this is the most boring part because Vegas Effects doesn't have a 3D tracker. And when you're tracking the video, make sure you choose double point position so that it will as well um, track the rotation and scale. And you want to track every single things in this video, uh, not every single thing based on what kind of item or object that you want to pin into your video. So we already analyzed our clip and I want to add some animation on this tree signboard, tree posters and a signboard. So I have to do a total of seven uh, motion track onto this video and make sure you do all of the tracking uh, and send the tracking data to a point layer and rename the layer uh, based on what it represents in your video so i already finished motion track the video and the next thing i'm going to do is to make the animation line for the signboard so i'm going to start off with the first signboard by creating a new comb and give the com a uh, signboard one. So each com represent for each signboard. Once you're done creating a new com, you want to go back to your main com and make a rough, not a rough mask, but a mask shape based on the signboard. So I'm going to mask out this signboard. And once you mask out these, uh, the video clip, you want to basically copy the uh, layer and go back to our previous com and create a new plane and make sure the plane is black color and then you want to basically paste the attributes on the plane layer once you paste you should see our mask appear in this uh, plane layer and then you want to search an effects called neon path and just simply drag and drop the effects to our plane and you can see the uh, lines appear on our mask and you can start tweaking the uh, neon path uh, properties and i'm gonna make the line a yellow color you can you know change the value to suit your needs and then you want to basically animate the evolution here so that it will animate from time to time on our um, timeline here then you want to set the blending mode to none so the calm layer will be transparent and then you want to go back to our main calm disable the mask that we have made earlier and drag and drop the animation into the timeline and simply parent the layer to our uh, tracking data that we've created earlier and now it track to our video now as i play the play hit from from time to time you can see the animation will be offset so you may require to um, animate the keyframe for this particular layer so that it will fit uh, to our video so manual adjustment may be required depending on your video next I'm gonna do the poster animation so I'm gonna import all of the poster image that I found on Google into the media and you want to create a com with one of the posters and the most importantly the height value is gonna be around seven to eight thousand pixels value 
and once you create the com layer uh, you can start adding all of the poses into the timeline and you want to basically readjust reposition of all of them to a, a vertical format and then add a point layer and pattern all of the poster to the point and then you want to animate the point layer uh, make it look like going uh, going down or up all purely on you so you have this sort of animations so once you're done you can come this whole poster here in the timeline so that we have one single layer and then you want to add a mask on the top invert it and add some feather so you can create sort of a transparent uh, transparency on the top and then you can add a hologram effects into this layer and you can adjust fine-tune the hologram effect or however you want it's purely up to you once you've done that you can add a 3d camera to our main com and then add the poster animation a layer into a um, timeline and readjust it and try to fit the poster animation to our video to the environment itself and then once you're done adjusting and fitting the uh, posters you can link it or parent it to our uh, tracking data that we have created earlier so that it will track and uh, fit into our video and you want to repeat the same process depending on how much you want to add the posters into this video the next one here is i'm gonna add this coca-cola sign bot to the video what I'm doing now is get rid of this green stuff at the back and then put it on top of this building and then I'll just simply parent it with the motion tracking point and once it track uh, I can now duplicate the video at the bottom and put it on top and try to mask out this street light because it's supposed to sit behind this street light here so all I have to do now is to mask out the street light and manually keyframe the mask from time to time all right Next, I'm going to add a chromatic aberration on the video itself and I'm going to reduce the amount of uh, chromatic aberration just a tiny bit. So I'm going to add uh, the same effects to our mask out here which is sitting on the top. This is more like a personal preference and I like this kind of look here to the video. Next, the final step is to add a grid layer on the top of the timeline and add anamorphic effects on the grid layer and you can fine tune the anamorphic to however you like and i'm just gonna make it look something like this and once you're happy how it looks like you can save the vegas effect and it should uh, reflect the effects in vegas pro timeline so here we're inside vegas pro and the next process is to color grade this video so what i'm gonna do now is to color grade this video using the grading panel add some contrast and try to make this video look a blue Okay, you can play around with the gain and gamma here add some blues and on the color curve section you can play around with the red and blue channel try to tone down the red channel in the shadows area and increase more blue in the highlight area for the color curve sections so your video gonna look something like this it's depending on your shot as well so the amount of values you put there in the grading panel might be different uh, here in this video and then uh, what you can do now is to add the glow effects and try not to overdone with the glow effects just a subtle amount of glow should make your video look dreamy okay and then uh, I'm gonna add the color corrector effects because color corrector are more fine-tuned on how it controls the color so I'm just gonna add a bit of blue on the highlight section and a bit of blue in the gamma section so I'll just uh, kind of warm up a bit on the shadows area and then I'm gonna add an AAV color and increase a bit of red because the tiles there on the bottom doesn't really visible anymore then uh, you wanna add this picture here from cyberpunk uh, I have a screenshot from cyberpunk game itself so just drag it into the timeline and press this Vegas image icon here and it will load up into Vegas image so here from Vegas image you wanna basically mask out all of this uh, gizmo interface of cyberpunk and once you're done press save it should load up um, into media pool of vegas burn and simply drag and drop the uh, mask picture into the timeline and you should have your video look like cyberpunk now and the last step here is more like a personal preference it's all up to you if you want to do it's optional i'm just going to add a bit of grain to the video itself so just add the film effects to the video and just try to tone down a bit of the grain and all that kind of stuff tweak the settings however you want and we are pretty much done so that's how you make your video look like cyberpunk 
with Vegas Post Suite software. So if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys. So see you guys next time on my next video.